Hi, welcome to another video. So, there are some good new Klein upgrades that I wanted to talk about, and there are also some new free API models that I have been using that are quite good with Klein these days. So, I'll mention that as well. So, let me tell you everything about it. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now let's come back to the video. Let's talk about the new upgrades. So, after the last video I did, there have been some simple minor upgrades like the R1 support, Mistral provider support, and some other stuff like that. But if we look at the main release, then there's a new mode called Plan Act. This is basically a similar implementation of architect and edit mode, like Ader, or even Rue Klein, which did this recently. So, you'll now see an option to change the mode of chat through the bottom menu, which will look something like this. It is a much simpler thing to do rather than Rue Klein, which I like, and it works pretty well. There's also a new option to instantly change the API provider and model as well, which is something that I really like as well. I mean, the profiles of Rue Klein were good, but for simple model changing tasks, it was a bit too much. And I like this over that because we can easily use this to change models, and that's it. We don't need to configure any profiles or anything, which is pretty great. Apart from this, there's also the new VS Code LM API provider, which is the same as what I showed in RuKlein. It allows you to use the GitHub Copilot models with Klein, which means that you can use the 50 free messages that you get with Copilot for free. And if you have the Pro Copilot membership, then you can also use Unlimited Sonnet or even O1 if you wish to, which is actually quite good, because not only is it cheaper than Cursor, but also better since it's unlimited and doesn't have any fast or slow gimmicks. So, that's good. There's also an on-off switch toggle for MCP servers, which allows you to disable them when not in use, and auto-approve setting for individual tools in MCP servers. So, this is also great, and it allows you to make it even more customized to your needs, which is pretty good. Now, let me show you all of this stuff and how it all works. First of all, open up VS Code, and here you can just go to Extensions and make sure that you upgrade it to the latest version. It also has a new icon, so don't get confused. Anyway, now we can see the interface here, and the first thing that you can see is that in the bottom, you have the Plan and Act option. The Plan action will basically just change the mode to Architect, and it will generate a plan which, once created, you can then get it changed to Act and make it implement the changes, which is quite similar to RuKlein and Ader as well. Apart from this now, you can directly click on the model name here, and you can just easily change the model provider to whatever you want and directly use it from here, which is pretty good to say the least, because you don't need to navigate to settings and change the same thing from there. So, this is pretty handy. One more thing that you have here 
is this new VS Code LM API as well, as well as the Mistral API option. So, in the VS Code LM API, you can just use the Copilot models. So, if you have Copilot installed on your VS Code, and once you have signed in, then, if you have a free account, then you can use the 50 free messages that you get with Copilot for free. And if you have the Pro Copilot membership, then you can also use Unlimited Sonnet or even O1. So, that's good. You also have the Mistral option here, which is great because you can now also use the free Mistral API through here as well. Because previously using it via the OpenAI compatible didn't used to work as well. But now this option is here, and it should work well, which is great. You can just put in the Codeistral API key here, and it will do the stuff as required. So, that's great. But now, I also want to mention one more API that we can use, which is the DeepSeek R One Free $100 Credits API, which you'll find at Cluster. Yes, they seem to have $100 credits, and they have recently added DeepSeek R1. So, these credits should come in handy for free usage. You can just get the API key from there, and then put in the base URL here, along with the model name, and also put in the API key here. So, this is great if you want to use DeepSeek R1 for free as well. Now, let me also show you how you can use all these new features. First, let's go over here. Now here, we can just select the plan option. Also, I'll keep DeepSeek R1 here. Now, we can just ask it to make a plan. I have an Expo app here. I'm going to ask it to make me a chat interface that uses the OpenAI SDK and make it good looking. Once we send it, you can see that it will start working on it. And if we wait a bit, then we have the plan here, and it looks pretty good. Now, what we can do is that we can just change the mode to act. And now we can just ask it to implement the architect's plan. Once we send it, then you can see that it starts doing the stuff as required. If we wait a bit, then it's now done. You can see that we have the code here, and we can now just run it. Once we do that, you can see that this is here, and it works kind of well and you wouldn't have got this in one shot without Architect. So, this is pretty great to see. It works pretty well, which is what is needed. It now has a bunch of good stuff, and I really like it now. I mean, Rookline is for sure now a quite advanced version of it. But actually, it is a little more complex for general users, whereas Klein remains simple, which allows generally users to use it more effectively. So, I think that it's great to see that they are getting the new features implemented that are already available on Rookline, but also making it much more simple to use, and not as complex like Rookline. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!